Let's do this now because I will probably be asleep soon. And my orchid died, or at least looks pretty dead. I don't know. I maybe put some ice cubes in it and see if it comes back to life, but I kind of do want to give up on it. <clears throat> but it's not about the orchid. It's about me. Me, the royal me. I am home. Home after nine or ten days. And is it nice to be back? Well, yeah, it's nice to be out of that house. I, I uh, It's kind of a neat place, but... It wasn't for me. So, and the heat wasn't for me. Yeah, like heat, heat to a point. Um, but no, and I, I don't like working in the heat. Um, anyway, we're getting backwards. <coughs> I took Uber here from the airport because uh, I just, the idea of getting on a train for an hour with like three heavier, heavy bags, heavier than when I went out because I had more food or something in uh, some manuals bringing back so uh it was a lot of weight and i thought no i mean i'm spending like today five thousand dollars on a foundation repair i think i could spend 68 on a uh ride home from the airport all tax right off right i mean it's all because taxes so yeah <clears throat> And then I was just, uh, it was still a long ride because there's a lot of traffic. So I'd say there's probably an extra 10 minutes. And they turned on the, not really the wrong street, but not the best street. The Google Maps doesn't give them the best street. So an extra five minutes there. And uh, yeah, SeaTac was a madhouse Thursday, just morning, Thursday morning, at eight o'clock. It's crazy there. But I was uh, arriving, so not too bad. Not too bad for me when you're arriving. Um, I noticed that Clear had a long line for Clear because Clear is a cool thing because they get you to the front of the line. However, if there's a line for Clear, it defeats the whole purpose because there's only like a couple, few agents and you have to wait for each agent to escort one person at a time to the front of the line, come back. And I think that could actually end up being slower than TSA PreCheck. Just get TSA PreCheck. The Clear thing isn't necessary. Um, the flight itself was good, first class upgrade, so that made a huge difference. I was just so thankful of that. Um, and so I got the meal, and right after that I just slept. I didn't even get a drink at all, not even water. I just said, uh, I don't want to be using the bathroom. I just want to be able to sleep peacefully. Didn't get a great amount of sleep, maybe a 20-minute nap, but that was something. And my alarm was going off in my, my pants for my phone. Oh, I'm so tired. I've been up all night. In case I didn't say that before, I didn't sleep last night, but uh, I will sleep after this. I'll take a nap for a little while. Yeah, I had to get to the airport at 4 a.m., or leave to the airport at 4 a.m., so I just figured, what's the point? There's going to be so much to do, and there was. I stopped painting it like, one, and the next, like, three hours were just cleaning and organizing things, a few final videos, and, man, I don't have a lot of energy for this. Yeah, nine days out there. My knees are so sore. It was just the, some of the hardest work I've ever done manually, manual labor. I once played a character called Manuel Labor. Uh, yeah, my knees are like really bad. Like, um, even though I feel like, why are they sore? I just haven't been working. But well, I mean, it's only been, hasn't even been 12 hours since I was stopped. So I'm hoping. I mean, some things, they kind of build up strength. You get used to it, builds up, and other things start tearing things down. And if that's the direction you're going, you got to stop. Otherwise, you'll destroy things. So at this point, I wait, um, do phone, call, phone calls and emails, and stress about how much money it's costing, and kind of remind myself that the, the brass ring, you know, the cheese at the end of the maze. <laughs> There's a way to think about it. And uh, I will, um, yeah, and it, you know, hopefully a month from now or two, it'll all be over and uh, it'll be a memory. I still remember the day I got a phone call at about early morning, because Texas time, and the realtor out there said, congratulations, you bought a house. Because uh, the, the buyer had, uh, seller had accepted my offer. I still remember, I was in the living room, 
I was on the floor taking a nap or something, and I remember that call. And I thought, what have I done? Did I want to buy this? And I'll have a video on the numbers because, I mean, it was, I'd say 30, 37000 out of pocket for closing. Um, and then you know, investments, money, the money pit pool, all this stuff over time. All right, well, that's it. I wish I could have made this more energetic, but that was just not possible right now. So I'll, I'll have a, a, a nap for a few hours and then catch up on what needs to be caught up on. Cheers. Oh, I got to feed that stupid orchid. I'm just going to let it die. Dumb orchid. <laughs>